Hello and welcome back to Stephen Plays Half-Life 2 Episode 2. My name is Stephen George. I play video games. Today it's Half-Life 2 Episode 2. When we last left off, <laughs> the board is friggin' awesome. And now we walk through the store. Coming with me before we get attacked again. Where'd that crap come from? Oh, I'm full. Let's, let's get a move on down the hallway. Oh, hey, buddy. What's going on? Oh. But the point is, see. An eternity's repose. It brings peaceful thoughts, does it not? Um. You know what? I don't. I don't. I don't really know that we're on the same wavelength, man. This is uh, not really my idea of peaceful. There you go, buddy. Oh, I guess that's. You already ended it all. Anyway, there's no ammo for me there. Let's get a move on. Hello, door. No enemies. Always getting gypped on the enemies. The ancient God. Retrieving the extract may not be unchallenging. The Guardian's presence guarantees an areas of larval clusters. They are commonly posted near the young. Uh whatever that meant. Looks like we're gonna have to fight the big old monster. You coming? Of course. My buddy. <laughs> Nothing's gonna stop me now. Oh god! Should probably stay more alert. What's up here? You are creepy, man. <laughs> Brodegaunt. You're a strange guy. Anything up this way? Hello? Anybody home? Hmm. A wind from below bears the scent of extract. The stuff we seek lies at the bottom of this pit. Of course. This shaft connects to the chamber above, where my kin sustain the Alexans. Once we have the extract, we can rejoin them quickly, provided we can restore elevator function. Okay. But how? How shall we descend? Um, I could jump. Did I do it? Bravely done, friend. When you reach the lower chamber, you must find a way to summon me. Okay. Um. Sounds good. Oh God. Okay. Uh. There is a uh, a table stuck in this van. Oh. Oh. God. <laughs> I seem to be getting blown away. Wait. Remember, do not kill the guardian, or the extract will be ruined. Oh, the fan broke. <laughs> ah, stupid body. Alright. Get up my shotgun. Stepped on a larva. Oh, there's a hole here. Gross, I'm getting pushed into things I didn't even want to get pushed into. Oh, it's all gone it. What is up with me falling into the random pile of water all the time? Oh, hey. What appears to be secret things. Oh, God. Get me up. Get me up. Get out of the get up. Dude, if I don't get out of the water, I'm going to drown. Oh, that worked. Hmm. This provides an interesting view, if nothing else. Oh, Barnacle. You don't even know that you're sort of helping me. Check out those honeycombs. And... Sorry. Oh, I got better things to do. I'm Gordon Freeman, as, as you know. Uh, let's see. So I think I was over there, so I need to probably go up this hill. No, wait. There's 
There's nowhere to go up this hill. This way. Here we go. Oh god. Um. That's... That's a bit upsetting. Oh god, no. Ow. Jerk. Toxin levels detected. God. Jesus. You piece of crap. I can't even see you right now. Got you? Or is there is there more than one? Is there more than one? Oh god. Doing okay. Doing okay. Any this way? I'm a double shotgun barrel, you... Ah, oh, man, we hit each other. <laughs> but it was toast for him. He he turned into toast. Bread. He, he toaster. He turned into bread and then fell in a toaster. Okay, where am I? Oh, piss. Oh, piss, piss, piss. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Piss, 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 piss! Oh my god, I cannot freaking run fast enough. Get in that hole. Am I okay? Is it coming? Hello? That was strange. I'm alive, though. Let's, uh, let's go up this way and see what we can find. Oh, look who's back. Um. Hello? There's another little hole for me to crawl into. I think I'm gonna stick to the little holes. Full of blood. Uh, just because they seem a little safer than being out there with that huge monster. He doesn't seem to notice me at the moment. Oh god, this is gross. I feel like I'm going in someone's ear and this is all wax. Shut up. Okay. Hello? Oh, God. Jesus. You gonna chase me? Is that your, is that your whole goal here? You're chasing me. Oh, God, you are chasing me. And I am falling to my death! Hey, my shotgun! Okay. I'm gonna kick more rocks at me. My rock kicker. He's ready to charge. Here he comes. I'm gonna be a little more careful this time. Oh god. This is back where I was. So this is probably not where I wanted to go. Oh god! Oh, piss! Oh, jeez. Oh, okay. Stupid gigantic thing chasing me through ear canals. Ugh. Yeah, and you guys are just gross looking. Oh, wait. I came out. Okay, just be careful. So, I probably want to go the way he came. It's guarding the nest, of course. Haha. <laughs> Catch me if you can. Which you probably can. Oh, piss. I am running. I'm out of sprint! Oh god! Get in there! Oh! Oh god! That thing is a giant acid lion, you know, so it gives me the neurotoxin. If I get hit with that thing twice, I'm screwed. So that's the way I came, so that's the way I need to go. Oh god. In you go! Ugh. Okay. I just gotta figure out where the crap I am. Doing good so far? 
I think I need to go that way. Yes! Oh, God! You are ugly. Go away. Please go away. Please go away. Please go away. Yes! You behind me? Oh. Crap. There goes my, uh, assistance. Hello? God, it's quiet. Some extra supplies. Uh, not much going on down here otherwise. I ran to Barnacle and I think I hear a head crab. I sense the freemen down below. That would be me. Oh, I'm missing a cog. Alright. So now I must find the cog. It's probably around here somewhere. <laughs> Little turd. Um Maybe this one. It's not being used anyway. No, no, give that back. Jerk. Oh, Jesus. Excellent. So that's working now, right? Are you I descend? Excellent. <laughs> All right, Brodegant. I'm like right here. <laughs> That's what I do. The scent of right perfection beckons. Uh by attracting to the source. You have done the hardest work admitting entrance to this channel. Truly the life of Alex Vance is in able hands. Yeah, she's kinda my girl. We have this thing going with me and her, but don't tell our dad. All right, sliding under a door. I like it. Okay. Whoa. So this is what we came for. Such quantities of an army, such a heady aroma. Tur, younger challenger, gum, gum, Ooh, Wiggy. So with this stuff, we'll be able to... A bounty of Largo extract. This should only take a moment. With this, we will finally be able to... Help Alex. You know what you're doing, man? Secretions of the finest quality. Let us return now to the Alex Vance. Okay. And you're, and you're sure we'll be fine. We're not gonna... We're not gonna see the giant thing that's been chasing us the entire time? Everything's gonna be cool? Okay. Okay, this elevator is smaller than the one that you wouldn't get on earlier. The Fortigai, that lion husbandry was once our ancestral practice. The creatures exude many valuable compounds. The extract is the most prized by far. It dissolves her false veils that divide the fortescence. All this you shall witness when. When we get to the top of the shaft, stop. She ebbs. If we lose her, we lose all. It's a very convenient elevator. Behold the extra miraculous secretion. Make haste. Join 
now as we imbibe the extract. Yes. A human is needed. Agreed. Join us, Freeman. Uh, okay, I'll just uh, stand over here if that's cool. We weave the Freeman's life with hers. Yes, there is a quick Almost mortal, this bond between you. Dr. Freeman. I realize this moment may not be the most convenient for a heart to heart but I had to wait until your friends were otherwise occupied there was a time they cared nothing for Miss Vance when their only experience of humanity was a crowbar coming at them down a steel corridor when I plucked her from Black Mesa. <laughs> I acted in the face of objections that she was a mere child and of no practical use to anyone. I have learned to ignore such naysayers when quelling them was out of the question. Still, I am not one to squander my investments. And I remain confident she was worth far more than the initial appraisal. That's why I must now extract from you some small repayment owed for your own survival. See her safely to White Forest, Dr. Freeman. I wish I could do more than keep an eye on you, but I have agreed to abide by certain restrictions. Well, now, listen carefully, my dear. When you see your father, relay these words. Prepare for unforeseen consequences. She stirs. Her vital form has regained integrity. We have a very huh? immeasurable loss. Oh, God. Lie I'm... still. Oh. oh, my God. I thought... I thought for sure I was dead. The Combine Hunters caused traumatic injury. A hunter. So that's what it was. We knit shattered bone and restored circulatory integrity. Yet it was a free man who retrieved her vortessence. Yeah, that's Gordon. How long have I been out? A matter of hours. Hours? Ugh. We've got to get moving. A moment longer. But I, we have to get to White Forest. It's vital. No fear. We will put you on the right road. Now, try carefully to rise. Whoa. I don't know what you did, but I have a feeling I'm lucky to be here. Come then. I will get you on the path to White Forest. Come on, Gordon. We will continue our hunt for advisors. Farewell. Go safe. Travel well. Good luck out there. <laughs> Be adequate. What the hell does that mean, anyway? I don't know. Sounds like something the Forge would say. I think I can walk on my own now. Let me give it a shot. <sighs> yeah. 
Yeah. Stiff, but I think I'm okay. And with that, we end the episode. A lot of the stuff was covered. And, uh... That was odd. Uh, and we can confirm further that the G-Man is really, really creepy. Uh, but that's going to be it for this episode. If you enjoyed this episode in any capacity, click like. If you haven't done so, subscribe to Stephen Plays a new video game episode every day. Join us next time for another uh, exciting episode of Stephen Plays Half-Life 2, Episode 2. Thanks for watching.